We have got our first two year in review player picks. The requirements, 85 rated team, 50 chemistry. That's it. You don't have to include an inform. You don't have to include a team of the season player. So hopefully we can get a very nice W out of the first two. We can get players like Flashback Gomez, play them on CR7, play them on Mbappe. Uh, team of the season Harry Kane would be nice as well. We get like team of the season Foden, Fabinho. There is a lot of good ones that we can get. So hopefully we do walk away with one. You can smack it open when you are ready. There you go. We eventually got here. Come on. Brozovic, Ramos, and Romero. You know what? It's not a bad way to start it, is it? It's a pretty decent start. What are we going to see out of the second one? Come on. Raspadori, Tanali, and Lena. So, yeah, the second one definitely is an L. But the first one, I definitely would say the W. Yeah, last time was an 86 rated team, 70 chemistry. So, they have made it cheaper. Oh, yeah, not a, not a great player pick, is it? Fredericks, Mavadidi, and Braithwaite. I don't think it matters who you go for. He's going to go for Fredericks. All right, second one, please be better. Come on, EA. Bless us up with one of those big boy players, Akin Fenwa, Nacho Fernandez, and Karlsdorp. You know what? That's not too bad. That isn't too bad. Do I think that's a W, though? You know what? It might be. It might be. I can't remember how much... In okay. He went for Akin Fenwa. I thought it was between Nacho Fernandez and Karlsdorp. And he went for Akin Fenwa. I respect that, though. I definitely do. We got another two. People are full sending these, aren't they? Uh, Pavard, Ramsey, and Antonio. Pavard was a nice card when he came out. People was not playing this card in a right-back position, though. They were playing him in a centre-back position because of those dribbling stats. He's just not good enough, you know, in that right back position. Let's get into the second one. Can it be better? Gabriel, Da Costa is a W. Da Costa is still very, very usable. We're definitely gonna go from here. Gabriel's dynamic is still beautiful, isn't it? Like that dynamic that Gabriel has got is top tier. But yeah, Da Costa, massive W. If SharePlays was on Xbox, and even let's say PC, I mean, we can kind of do it on PC because of Discord, right? But I would do it. Oh, Perisic. Perisic is a nice one. Now, is he a W? He is very good still. I think there's no question about that. But like, I feel like there definitely is better wingers now. Especially with like Insigne going for the amount he goes for. Can we really call Perisic a W? Have we got another one here? We have. Let's go ahead and smack it open. We've opened a few of these now. They're not looking too bad. But this one, yeah. Is not looking great. I'll be honest. I'm going for Pepe here. That, that's just me. I'm going for Pepe. I decided to wear my my Leicester shirt today. And next thing you know, there's a Vardy that comes out. Modest. Wait, I was about to say, where's his dynamic? This share plate is lagging a lot. Like, please don't crash. I'm begging you. Like, look at this. Oh, it's crashed 100%. At least we got to see Modest. Vardy's card, though, is looking good. Like, five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. The pace looks incredible on him. I think he definitely will be a solid card. Witzel, Karlsdorp, and Suso. Yeah, you definitely go for Witzel. 100%. Witzel's still, like, a very good holding CDM. Oh, yeah, another token came out. I haven't even started on the eight tokens in objectives. Oxley Chamberlain, Dan Juma, and McKenny. McKenny used to be so good. He still is good. It's just there is way better midfielders now. Dan Juma is a very solid one, though. He's controlling it, not me. I mean, we're controlling it at the same time. Let me smack it open, though. Come on. Witzel again. The foe as well. Um, I think, I, yeah, I think Witzel definitely is the way to go. The foe is a nice one. It's just... The league he plays in obviously isn't great for links. Have we got like 82? No, we have not got 82 plus player picks. We got just a stupid amount of tokens. All right, <laughs> let's get into the year of you player pick. Come on, Marlon, Savani, and Dan Juma again. Once again, not bad. I think I would go for Dan Juma here. We opened a good amount of the other year of you player picks, and they were, they were right. You know, they gave out some decent stuff. But I feel like this time round, we've had more Ws. 
Like, we've had some very good pulls. I'm not sure if we had... No, we didn't have Mbappe last time. But I think we had Ronaldo. Nkunku, Gavardio, and Kurejma. I think... Yeah, I was about to say, I think I go for Gavardio here. Oh, my God. I think that's the most games I have ever seen on a player. Huh? 2,800... You have trust in your goalkeeper. That's a crazy amount of games. I don't think I've had a goalkeeper for more than 200, 300 games. I, why do you have to... Why are you doing this, huh? No, 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 no. Let's get straight into the player thing. Let, let's not... We. What's happening right now? I'm doing you a favor. Just done you a favor. You're welcome. Mbappe. I mean, Declan Rice, he's got five-star skill moves, no? Hold on a second. Hold on. He's got five-star skill moves. It's still an L. I, I think there's no way we can call this a W. That foot birthday, Ramos, when he came out, he was a very solid centre-back. But now, mm, there's way better centre-backs than him. And Kunkel here, I guess we'll just go for him. I don't think, yeah. He's not going to want Pavard. He's not going to want Fredericks. Let's just go for rating. Second one. Anything decent. Marlon. I, what's happening here? No, no, no. What is happening here? Nkunku again. And we get Lamar. This Lamar card, right? He honestly isn't, like, too bad. Him as a box-to-box -box is a little bit weird because, like, he's not great defensively. It's just going forward, he is very solid. If you use him as, like, an attacking centre mid, I think he's got finesse shot. Yeah, he's got finesse shot trait as well. It looks like Dan Juma is quite common in these... Which is nice. Dan Juma is not a bad card to get out of this at all. So hopefully we do continue to actually see him. Come on. Paulink. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got a... Uh, you ain't got much here, have you? I do like how they dropped the requirements for these. Because last time, as I said, they were good, but they weren't insane. So the fact that they dropped the requirements is very nice to see. But we get another Perisic. But he's already got him. Canales, I guess, isn't too bad. But there's better midfielders. Yeah, way better midfielders. Second one. Come on. Mm. Zinchenko, when he came out, wasn't too bad. But yeah, no, not anymore. You know, not anymore. Dorsch again. And Velo, I think we've seen. A, have we seen? I'm pretty sure we've seen him twice. Like team of the season, Son. The reason I love him so much is because of his finesse shots. His finesse shots are broken. And Vardy not having the finesse shot trait, I don't think his finesse shots are going to be as good. Another Modest. I honestly love his dynamic. Do you guys think he has the best dynamic in the game? Is there anyone else that is up there? Like, it's, it's just a hat, isn't it? It's just a hat, but it, like, stands out so much. Cafu's got a very good dynamic as well. I do love Cafu's because he's kissing the, he's kissing the World Cup. Mbappe and Acosta. Oh my god. All right. A casual player of Mbappe. Mbappe. We got the best one. We have got the best one. How? What? The Costa as well in the same player pick. I don't think Vardy's too expensive either, is he? I think he's like 200 or something K. Maybe 300, but I don't think he is 300. And Kunkel again. And it's not even the highest rated in Kunkel either. Dorsch is a very common one in these player picks. I want to see a few more flashback cards. Really? You got Pozuelo as well, and I can't control it. So, yeah, it's just going to be him opening it. He stored him into the club as well. I mean, it's an L, isn't it? Kulazewski, I well, like, I heard this card was rumoured to come out before he obviously came out. I thought he was going to be so much better. I thought, you know, they were going to give him, like, five-star skill moves. If they did, he would have been such a better card. Let's get into this. Come on, good luck. That, oh my god, we got Fabinho, but he's already got him. Here, that would have been a really, really solid W. I guess, yeah. Just go for Dan Juma. Oh, he's switching. I've never seen this. Is this a... Yeah, is this a thing you can do? He's doing that really quickly as well. And Canales. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Dan Juma once again isn't bad, is he? Dan Juma is a W in my eyes. It's just... Fabinho would have been a better W if he didn't have him. Prime CR7 was at Real Madrid, not United. I mean, he was a joke for both clubs, but yeah. Emerson, Harvey Barnes, and Ramsey. Emerson is a nice one. 
He's one of those left backs that is definitely uh, solid because, you know, he's he's got that four-star weak foot. He's got pace defending stats. Like, his strength isn't great. He's definitely not up there, I would say, with the best left backs in the game. But he is a solid one to get, I would say. The links on him are quite decent. Let's see this shining player pick. Is that Brozovic? It is Gavardio. I would go for Gavardio. I feel like there's no point of going for Brozovic, right? Because his team of the season is so cheap. So you might as well go for Gavardio. He is still a very good centre-back, by the way. He is. Like, the pace on this card is a joke. He's so good defensively. The physicals are incredible. He feels nice on the ball. The passing ability, as you guys clearly can see, is good as well. So, yeah, I don't mind getting Gavardio out of this player pick at all. But, yeah, the Nigeria kit is the one I really do want at this moment. And PSG. I want a PSG kit as well. Paulinho. Mkhitaryan. Have we seen Mkhitaryan today? I don't think we have. He is still good. Like, 5-5, five, five, still very solid. He still feels very nice on the ball. Is he a card that I expect a lot of people to use this late in the FIFA? I mean, some, as I said, he can still slide into people's teams. It's just, it really does depend on what team you have. I think we got another two here. No, we haven't. We got an 82 plus player pick. All right, let's go ahead and smack this. Come on. You know what? For an 82 plus player pick, decent. Year review player pick. What is it going to be? Hmm. Aspas, I mean, it's a high rated, right? He should have had at least like a five-star weak foot. A five-star weak foot on him would have been very good. Son having the finesse shot trait, I think that's what maybe just edges him over that new Vardy card. Savinir. Savinir is a very good all-rounded card. Gabriel again and Suso we have seen a few times. I think I go for Savinir. Yeah, I think I go for Savinir here. We got two 82 plus player picks. Imagine like a casual Adama Traore popping out in these. We got a Teemo yesterday when someone only did two player picks and they had like an icon moment player pick to us to open as well. We got Teemo Werner. It was very surprising. Like I did not expect that at all. And Kunku again, Veghorst and Antonio. I think Veghorst surely is the way to go. Surely you got yourself a, a big, a big striker that you can just sub on. And you know he's going to guarantee win a header for you. The three cards I definitely do recommend you guys to do right now is Fernandinho, end of an era, end of an era Insigne, and end of an era Chiellini. Those three, I feel like, are must-dos. They are incredible. They're so, so good. Just go for Brozovic here. Just go for rating, you know? Just go for rating. There's no point of going for Gibbs White. And I, I can't pronounce the other guy's name. I'm not even going to try Brozovic, though, out of the first one. Second one, please be better. Give him like a, a Da Costa, you know, at least. He had Mbappe as a concept, and he's not going to get him. Perisic, once again. How many times have we seen Perisic? For me personally, I don't really like the badge in the middle. I like it to a side. But it feels like the badge in the middle is becoming a trend. Look at that. Benzema and Courtois. Two La Liga player of the months in the same player pick. Also, should I do the year in review player pick or save fodder for Insigne? Save fodder for Insigne. Like, if I can only pick one, 100% Insigne is the way to go, man. Insigne is incredible. Oh my god! Okay! Now, this is a player pick and a half. I think I, I would go to Costa. I would go to Costa. Like, Curtis Jones is a nice card. Dan Juma is a very good card. Oh, okay. He went Dan Juma. Huh. I think a lot of people would have gone to Costa there. A lot. Hold on a second. Is that end of an era? Lacazette going into a year in review player pick. Okay. The sacrifice has been made. Is he going to walk away with someone good? No. No, he is not. Wow.